Hi everyone, warm welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing okay. Okay, uh, first thing I want to say is a big thank you for tuning in and watching uh, tonight's vlog. So I've got three main topics what I want to talk about tonight. Um, uh, it's, it's about U-turns, about making decisions what I've made in the past and now I want to um, kind of go back on them decisions um, to try and make my equipment better and my content better on YouTube. So the first thing what I want to do a U-turn on is the pest control videos for my channel. I had a rare half an hour or so in work through the day and I was um, I was sat at my desk in work and I was thinking about my channel and my channel as you all know it's it's rats in the reticles and it's something what you don't see because I took all my my rat shooting videos down because I was getting so much um so many people coming at me from all different angles saying about like i should be doing this i should be doing that i shouldn't be doing this i shouldn't be doing that and i was finding myself like kind of getting at it getting loads of grief from all the, not not so much grief just just everyone sticking their oar in saying you know and it and it does it, it gets to you a little bit and i just thought that's it. I'm taking it all down. I'm not posting pest control videos. But that is my channel. It's rats in the reticles. So I'm going to do a full U-turn on that. And I'm going to start posting rat videos again. Because my editing skills and the editing uh, app I've got now on my phone. And um, my family member is um, well established on YouTube. One of my family members. And they've given me a few pointers about editing, you know, how how to do it easily, how to make it easy. Because I'm an old fart and I'm I'm not a tech geek by any means. But I've got my head around editing now and I'm getting much better at it. So I'm going to start posting pest control videos again of me dispatching rats in my back garden. And the odd grey squirrel as well, which you can do legally. Um, so... I made that decision on the sole basis of my channel being rats in the reticles. That's what the channel is. So I want to start posting that kind of content again. Plus, it's the amount of traffic that that kind of content brings to the brings to to the channel, because a majority of people people who don't even shoot love to watch them type of videos. Me myself personally, I probably stop watching them videos probably the beginning of this year because it just got so repetitive for me you're just watching what looks like the same videos all the time it's it's a sub 12 foot air rifle or an fac air rifle with a high-end digital night night vision scope with great image quality and you're watching rats getting shot for me it it, it bores the shit out of me I, I can't watch them anymore it's just like you've seen one you've seen them all but people like that and people tune into it and as i said it draws a lot of traffic to the channel and helps your channel grow so for me i'm doing a whole a full, complete u-turn and i'm going to start posting rap videos again in the near future and they'll be much better edited and stuff like that and i'll try and bring a little bit of fun to it as well um so the next day uh, oh yeah by the way do you like me cup c-u-n-t yeah I'm, I'm one of them i'm a bore i'm one of them <laughs> so the next thing uh, i'm going to be doing a u-turn on is a i've done a video about my compressor i got a vivo compressor which was recalled apparently um i only found out it got recalled through posting the video on youtube vivo recalled them i don't know whether they recalled all of them or did you just record recalled a batch of them because of um grounding earthing you can get an electric shock from them mine's been absolutely fine and i plug a uh, electronic circuit breaker into mine before i plug it in to make it a little bit more safe 
but um i'm going to be investing in, in a, a a large diver's tank i'm not too sure what liter it is it's kind of like yay big i think it's like the biggest one you can get but i'm getting the carbon one um i'm going to be investing in one of them to uh to start filling my pcps up because I'm just not that confident anymore with the compressor because of that. It does frighten me, to be honest, like in case I get a whack off it or anything. I shouldn't do because I'd plug the ECB in first. But I also need to get over my genuine phobia because I do have a genuine phobia of divers tanks. Um, I vision them explode or touch wood, a house fire, and it's in the house, stuff like that. But I'm going to store mine in the shed. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I need to to get over my fear of, of a diver's tank. And um I've done I've done my research on these carbon diving tanks and the the very light, very lightweight and they're very, very safe. So I'm gonna be investing in a, a carbon diver's bottle to uh to help me with my equipment and stuff. I think it'll just help, definitely. And uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing a U-turn on, well, it's kind of a semi-U-turn, um, is the Arkan Zulus stroke, D well, it's DNT Zulus now, isn't it? Now, I did do a video on it because I wanted to get one. I was waiting for the 3B12 to come out and I was ready to get one. I've saved up money. I was going to buy one. But it's only, it's only available with the LR, I think I might be wrong here, you get the ballistics calculator on it and LRF. And I don't think you can get it without them to make it a little bit cheaper. So for that reason, I didn't want to get one. And I wanted to wait for PARD because I've heard that PARD are working on something to surpass the Arkan Zulus or the NT Zulus. They're going to make something better. So... Because I'm very loyal to PAD as well. By the way, I'm not sponsored by PAD or I'm not sponsored by anybody. No one sponsors this channel. I don't earn any money from it. Totally unmonetized. Always will be. And I'm not sponsored by anyone yet. I'm wearing the Vixen t-shirts because I've got a Vixen on all of them. And I bought this myself off eBay. If you want one, $16.99 on eBay. That's it. Come waiting for about a week for the good quality as well. Fruit of the loom. I'm not sponsored or anything by these either. Um, someone did ask me where did I get it from the other day in the comments. So yeah, getting back to the to, to pad, I'm not sponsored by it more or anything. It's just I and I I love the brand. I, I'm very confident using my pad. It's never let me down. Um I know that the technology in and the software in the Arkansas is better, obviously because it's newer. The the technology in a pad is knocking on for like seven seven eight years old could even be 10 years old now i don't know when it was first brought to the market and stuff like that so as time moves on technology gets better and equipment gets better so i am still on the fence with whether i'm gonna i'm gonna buy an arkansas or not but i definitely if i'm gonna get one i'm gonna get the 3b12 but tom uh, the channel subscriber who i've become a uh, really good friends with in, in the last couple of weeks he is lending me he is loaning me his 5 by 20 Arkansas. he said that yeah, have a play with it for a couple of weeks see what you think it might change your mind um but if if i do get one i'm going to get the 3b12 because you get you'll have a um you'll have a bigger field of view and that's better for, for being on the rats with the sub 12 because i shoot at short distances so um I'll make my mind up as to whether I'm going to be buying the Arkansas or not, but I'm I'm, I'm excited to uh, to get my hands on that. Um, so uh, moving on, um, I've got some really good content uh, lined up if, in the coming weeks. I've got my air arm side lever arriving tomorrow. I've lo loaned that out to me nephew. He's had it for a couple of years. That's coming tomorrow to 2-2. Uh, it's a 1986 gun, or it could be a 1985. I know it's one of the first um, made, and I think they made them for about five years. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a full review on that. Um, 
not so much a review it's just a video like a, like a dedicated video to 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 an old springer an old faithful springer because every every air gunner should have a springer you know that it's old school isn't it and you can't beat the feel of an old springer so i just hope that the neighbors don't mind when i'm cracking it off in the back garden because it's it barks it barks um, my uncle has got an old daisy air, um, air rifle to a 2-2 i think it is that's knocking on 50 years old he's gonna loan me that to uh to, to showcase it i have no idea i think it's a daisy it's either a daisy or a diana so he's loaning me that and i can't wait to do a video on it and also i'll be doing a video on the um the bsa platinum the big scope um we're going to try and, me and tom are going to try and fit that to my day state tomorrow it, it may need shimming because it's it's such a um it's such a powerful scope so we may we may have to shim it just to bring it up a little tiny bit at the back uh, to get the crosshair to get the point of aim right onto the crosshair because i tried to do it through the day and i was right at the top of the elevation and my point of aim was like two inches below so it needs shimming uh, so we're going to try and do that tomorrow create some content while we're there at the permission hopefully uh, try and get a little bit of pest control if we're lucky and um and and i'll record it for for youtube um i did get a couple of comments in about my pest control video with tom like some people were saying like not not really much happened it was it was boring and you talk a lot but you know i get it you can't please everyone um but as for talking a lot that's the whole meaning of being a content creator on youtube because you can't go out and just say nothing you, you've got to speak you've got to engage with your audience you know you've got to make them feel a part of of your day out and that's what i was trying to do in that video and like i said i've only been do that that's the first time i've ever done that so i'm still learning i watch my videos back um and i try and educate myself as to what i should do what i shouldn't do i should have done this i'll do that because I'm learning at the end of the day, it's still all brand new to me, all this. So the content will get better over time, most definitely. Like like all channels on YouTube, you get better as as you evolve, you get better, your equipment gets better, your editing gets better, um, the way you the way you speak um on, on camera gets better and stuff like that. I don't know whether I will because I just I just come on and I just be myself, I speak normally, like the way I'd speak to anybody. Um, and I hope that that comes across on, 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 on my content. And a lot of people say that they like the channel for that. Um, because I'm, I just be myself. I don't, there's, there's no, there's no, um, I, 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 there's no, I don't try and be something I'm not. It's just what, what, what you see is what you get. And that, and that's it. Like some people like it. Fantastic. Some people don't go and watch someone else. There's thousands, thousands of, of pest control, you know, stroke pcp shooting hunting vi videos and channels on youtube what you can tune into what you might find better and that's fine don't have a problem with it at all so um I've ba i'm babbling on now i've been on for nearly 15 minutes so enjoy your weekend everybody um if you if you're out at the weekend shooting have a have a fantastic time if you're at the range happy days so you know what i'm going to say i'd rather be a safe shooter than a great shooter. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.